The patient was brought to the emergency room by ambulance following a motor vehicle collision approximately 45 minutes ago. Multiple contusions and abdominal pain. The patient does not appear to have any intra-abdominal or pelvic abnormalities. A CT scan should be performed to obtain more accurate results. Scans of the brain and C-spine will be needed as well. The patient is now in stable condition, but unable to move. Mild sedation was required. The patient was carrying a prescription for Vicodin and Flexeril to use at home for muscular pain, but further assessment will be needed to add, remove, or adjust medication as it may have an impact on the accident. No significant medical history other than chronic insomnia. The patient has laboratory studies done. CBC is normal within limits, without anemia, thrombocytopenia, or leukocytosis. Urolysis shows no blood and is normal. Few superficial lacerations. Current primary physician, Dr. Red.
you hear me? Can you hear me? That's okay. You can blink two times if you can hear me. Good. Okay, don't worry. I am Dr. DeLuca, and you are at the emergency room right now. I am taking care of you, so there's no need to worry, okay? The less you think right now, the better. I am actually just cleaning your wound. And you probably won't remember much about what happened. It's just asking not to panic. You are in good care. Our nurses have been taking care of you since you got here. You were rushed into the hospital fairly quickly after the accident. So, we're gonna fix you up. You are now sedated, so you probably don't feel any pain. However, if at any time you feel like it's wearing off, you can let me know. Can you move your hand? Okay, good. How about the other one? Good. Okay. Then I suggest that we try to communicate that way. You can either blink. Two for yes, one for no. You can lift your hand if you feel any pain during this examination. I am actually just cleaning your wound right now, but I am going to be examining you in a little bit, okay? We'll probably take that out. You may not need it anymore. Okay. Yeah, probably good right now. really not necessary. Okay. Does this hurt at all? Yeah, just gently cleaning this wound you have in your head. It's very superficial so there's nothing really to worry about. Okay. Everyone has been contacted. They know you're here. And what I am planning to do tonight is to further assess some of the injuries you sustained in this accident. Okay. You will probably spend one more night here at the ER. After I perform this test, I will want you to have some additional tests in the morning, and probably our nurses would take care of that. Actually, our nurses should be taking care of you right now, but we are kind of experiencing a shortage of nurses. But that's okay, I have plenty of time tonight. It's a lot of busy nights, so I'm here for you. Let me check your pupils too, real quick. How are you feeling? Do you feel any pain or discomfort yet? Okay, hopefully you won't, but remember to let me know. up. Good. Alright, let's try the other eye. Look up. this real quick so we finish up and 
and I've been reading your profile. It looks like you were taking some medication when the accident happened. I actually have the bottle right here next to me that I will read in a few minutes. So don't worry, we have all your information. Also, we do have your personal belongings and they are safe. So don't worry about anything right now. Taking care of you. And you're gonna be alright. There's nothing to worry about now. The less you think and the more you rest, the faster you will heal. Just one moment. I am basically just writing everything out so that the nurses next morning know what I've done. actually seeing the nurses left a note here saying that we do not have your dental record and if you don't mind I would like to examine your mouth very quickly just a real quick examination nothing too complex okay I'm gonna use this little tool right here it has a mirror and a light so that I can see your teeth. You may have gotten hurt in your mouth and I just want to make sure that there's no damage to your tooth. You might not feel it right now because you're sedated, but okay. If you could open your mouth for me as far as you can, but if there's any pain, please let me know. Just lift your hand. doesn't seem to be any damage on this side. Let's see the other side. like you had some cavities but they were fixed so anyway it was just a quick assessment I'm not really a dentist so I just wanted to make sure that there's no damage to your teeth right now but later on we'll probably need an x-ray anyway so okay what I would like to do right now is I would like to examine your face a little more and I will be touching you gently, okay? Your cheeks, your ears, okay. Don't worry, I've already cleaned up your injury and it's not gonna be a problem there, I'm not gonna be touching that area, okay? Open 
open your eyes a little bit again. yet, but you're gonna be okay. You're good. You're good. Okay. All right. Let me check your eyes one more time. Okay, if you can follow the pointer right now, follow the light. seem to have any problem with your hearing when you first came here. And you seem to hear me very well right now, but I want to know if there's any inflammation caused by the accident, okay? So I'm gonna be using this. Don't worry about it. It's not gonna hurt. It's nothing your doctor hasn't hasn't done before. By the way, who's your doctor? Do you remember? Of course I have your pills right here. So, I have the information. It looks like Dr. Red is your primary physician. And she prescribed Vicodin. That is a... Uh, it's interesting. It's a very high dose. And... That's odd. We had... We had three patients this week whose primary physician is Dr. Red and they were also taking Vicodin so but don't worry about that now I'll figure that out later uh, the idea is to get you out of bed your legs are doing okay don't worry about it you are sedated and we are going to transfer you to your hospital uh, this ER room in this hospital uh, can probably accommodate you but you will be much better because of your insurance to deal with all this in your hospital so but don't worry about it right now we're just gonna spend you're gonna spend the night here i'm gonna take care of you and our nurses are gonna look at you again tomorrow morning okay all right so i'm gonna examine your ears right now i remember to lift your arm if you feel any discomfort, okay? Alright. No, there's no signs of inflammation here. Good. Let's see, are they here? be a little red on this side. You do have a bruise in this area. I'm trying to be very gentle. Uh, it looks a little inflamed here. Okay. We're good to go with this. Let me examine your neck. I'm gonna be touching your neck area, okay? Just very gentle. Do you have swollen glands? Okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. Like I said, don't worry about it. We're taking care of you. And there's nothing serious going on, but we do need to do all these standard tests and the testing afterwards. Okay. Okay. You 
still feeling good? You're not feeling any pain? Good. Okay. I would like you now to let me know I have three small bottles and all of them have a different smell. And I'm going to open these bottles and put them close to your nose. And if you could, I'm gonna give you this pen and a piece of paper. If you could write down for me the smell of each of these bottles, okay? Yeah, it sounds a little weird, but this is how we're testing your, your nerves. I'm not explaining to you that much right now what we're doing. I'm not going into the specifics because I don't want you to worry about it too much, okay? So this is the first bottle. It is an orange liquid. The color of the liquid is not related to the smell. So don't try to associate it, okay? a very strong smell so I'm not going to have it so close to your nose okay if you can smell it for me okay is that enough okay I'll let you write it down orange okay let me try one more time. Can you smell this again, please? Is that okay? If you want to write it down again for me, if it's the same, that's all right. Okay, you smell orange, all right. That's okay. Let's try with this one. Are you here with me? You look like you may fall asleep. And that's okay. I'm just going to check while I'm doing this test that you're here with me, right? It's okay if you fall asleep. No problem there. Alright, we're gonna try to smell this one, okay? Okay, here you go. Good. Now, okay, this one is not as strong, so you can, you can put it a little closer. You got it? Okay, you can write it down. Sorry, could you spell that one more time? <laughs> oh, okay, mint, mint, okay, yes, this one is mint. Okay, now I'm gonna move to the last bottle. This one's green. smell is quite strong in this one, so... Okay. You got it? Alright. Hmm. Alright. Would you like to smell it again? Oh, that's okay. That's okay. Alright. Well, I'm gonna have to check that there. You got one right. But again, don't worry about this. It's not necessary that you worry about that right now. I'm gonna take down notes. Okay, let's go back to your eyes. Um, this is gonna be very simple, okay? Just let me know how many numbers of fingers you see including both hands. 
Okay. 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 Very simple, I know. All right. What I would like to do now is I'm going to take check your chest, and I'm going to ask you to breathe in and out, and also to cough for me. All right. I'll put this on. Put this on your chest and if you can just breathe normally right now just breathe normally okay in and out just normally not rushed Breathing normally, in and out. Okay, now the same thing on this side, but I'm now going to ask you to take a deep breath in, hold it. Exhale. Okay. Can you cough a little for me? Okay. Can you cough a little more? Okay, good. And now I'm going to ask you to do the same on this side. If you can breathe in. Hold it. And hold it. And out. All right. Now, if you can cough a little again. Okay. Good. Good. Okay. Take my glasses off. All right. And that's good for here. Gonna take down that again, right? side. I'm going to be here for you for a couple more hours, okay? And in the morning, the nurses are going to take care of you. I'm going to let them know what I would like them to do. For now, I would... I am going to tell them that you will need a complete blackout, which you had one of those. You had one of those tests when you first came here. And I would like a new one. Okay, so I will also like to have a chest x-ray. Okay, that will not take long and it's something that we can do here. And I would also like to have a CT scan. It says in your history that you haven't had one before. Is that right? Okay. Well, this scan in particular, um, it's a little expensive, even with insurance, but we can have you do this scan here uh, in the ER and you will not be charged for it. Uh, it is not urgent, but we can have it done here for you instead of just trans uh, transferring you to your hospital and do it there because, yeah, it is usually a, a pricey exam, okay? So these things are going to be done in the morning. Nurses are gonna take good care of you, okay? And tomorrow you will feel better, most likely. We're just doing this to make sure that there's no other internal injuries that we haven't got. And I know you are going to be maybe a little bit in pain, that's why we are 
should be new sedated right now. It's just the trauma of the injury, okay? But you will be fine. In fact, you can actually just start dozing off right now if you want to sleep. It's very early in the morning, so you still got many, many hours ahead. If you want to rest, which I recommend, do not worry, because you are going to be okay. But we will need to do these tests, because you do some, have some injuries that are superficial, but we're going to take care of them, okay? Okay. You have been a very good patient. You clearly have no, gave no struggle for this, which I am grateful for. And I will let you go right now. I will be on the other side of the room. If you need anything, let me know. Like I said, you have water. And you have this little button here that you can press if you have any emergency, okay? I know that you can't move much now, but... 